Hello everybody, Dragon47 here. How's it going with everybody here today? So, I will have this video uploaded by tomorrow morning, at least that's hopefully the goal, and I'm actually making this video to talk about PvP IVs for the Pokémon that you're going to want to be hunting for this community day. In the last video, we talked about what Pokémon you're going to want to be hunting, and which ones you're going to want to be trying to pick up for PvP. But today we're going to focus on what IVs you actually want for your Pokémon to actually be able to catch them and use them properly in PvP. As some of you may already know for PvP, generally you want to have lower attack and you want to have higher defense and higher HP. And the reason for this is, is because the overall stat product of a Pokemon is based off of the attack, which helps to predict the amount of CP that you can have on the Pokemon. Generally, you want to have lower amounts of this because you want to try and get as close to the 1500 marker when maxing out your Pokemon as possible to get the most amount of benefits from your Pokemon through. So if we were to look at a specific Pokemon, let's just say this Rhyhorn that I caught earlier today, um, we could see that the stats on it are not super great. These stats in general just are not exactly what we're looking for. Uh, for neither, for anything really. This is just transfer fodder or trade fodder. Now, if we wanted to look at Pokemon with the PvP stats, a great example would be the Dukong that I caught on du the Seal Spotlight Hour. This Pokemon right here has great PvP stats, as it only has a few points in attack and a lot of points in defense and HP. Is this the perfect Dugong? Absolutely not. Finding a perfect Pokemon is very, very difficult, and I only have encountered, like, maybe one or two ever <laughs> in my Pokemon career count, and I've been playing this game for, like, at least four years now. So, I mean, take it as you wish. But ultimately, these stats are generally better because it provides more bulk on your actual Pokemon as opposed to dealing with CP. Now, let's go over a tool that me, I use and that most other Poke YouTubers use. And again, some of you may already know this, but this is a video for those that don't. Let's talk about Poke Genie and why it is such a helpful tool. So over here on my phone screen, you will see what's the what is the Poke Genie app, and essentially what this app does is it allows you to it'll eventually what it does is it scans your phone. So what it does is it scans over the front screen of your phone, and the reason why it does that is because it will try to read the Pokemon, the CP, your character level, and the appraisal of the Pokemon, and it will tell you for free essentially if that Pokemon is a good PVP Pokemon. Do I suggest using this app every single time you catch a Pokemon? Absolutely not. What I suggest is catching every single Pokemon you can, right, during the community day. Let's just say you're running around fast catching and you come across this more lol or something like that. And you're like, oh, I really need to catch this. And you just quickly fast catch it, bada boom, bada bam. And, you know, don't, don't go in here and just look at the more lol right away. Like, that's generally not what you want to do, is open that up and look at it right away. You want to be fast catching as much as possible to try and get as many shinies and as many mods in your backpack. But, rather, wait until your bag is full, and when you are, take a break for a second, open the Poke Genie app, and scan, skim through them as fast as you can. Or, just try to scan as many Pokemon as you can, just by looking at the appraisal. Keep the ones with high defense and high the high keep the ones with the highest defense, the highest HP, and the lowest attack, and either trade or toss out the rest. Then after that, you can go over them later with the scanner and see which one of those is the best before you invest into it. And that is by far the best way that at least I have learned in order to check out what PvP Pokemon you've been able to pick up. So let's run over how Poke Genie works. We start by simply opening the Poke Genie app. Once we open the Poke Genie app, what essentially will happen is there will be a screen that will ask for your player level, accept Sonora, it'll ask you for some specific information. Put all of that in so we can get the, the correct reading, because as you level up, your CP, max CP for Pokemon changes, so you need to have the, the accurate levels to be put in here, so that it can tell you what Pokemon you need to be looking for. Next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit the Start Overlay button. And when you do, this will be hook, ask you, hey, we're going to see everything you do on your screen, so be ready to do this when you do this. And what you do is you press Start Now. And after you press Start Now, it'll actually open up Pokemon Go for you, which is super nice. So what you can then do 
is you can take the Pokemon that is in your inventory. We're just going to go with the uh, Dugong, as I have mentioned earlier. And what you're going to want to do is you see this widget on the side that showed up? What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to press the three lines, press the appraisal button, and when you do, you're going to want to press this Pokemon widget. And when you do, it'll give you a guaranteed scan of what the Pokemon looks like. This Dugong is a 99.3 I think I can't exactly do this and have my phone recorder out at the same time, so I will have an image posted here of what the dugong looks like me while I am doing this. But essentially, this Pokemon is is what you kind of want to be looking for, as the rank on it will be particularly high in the top 100 range, which is where I highly suggest, if you're an average Joe, to go out and try to aim for. So you're not investing into a bad Pokemon, you're going to invest into at least a half-decent one. I know some tryhards like to go all the way up to 20, or higher for like top top tier but i'm personally not one of those people and i've been doing just fine for the way i am and essentially what you're going to want to do is use this widget to try and find good pvp pokemon like this dugong to add into your team and your collection the ivs are going to be different for every single pokemon you catch do not expect them to stay the same i know that greninja is a 115 15 and that's the rank number one around there. So what you'd want to do for like per se a Grand Ninja is try to get as close to that CP as you physically can. And that would be considered your good Great League Grand Ninja. And that is a pretty good Pokemon in the Great League and the Ultra League as well. Definitely don't go sleeping on Grand Ninja. Other Pokemon like Poliwrath and Quagsire are going to be also super, super good to grab because they're going to be super, super good in the Great and the Ultra League, particularly Poliwrath, as Poliwrath is pretty good for both. <laughs> like, Poliwrath is really, really good in Ultra League, and he's pretty incredible in Great League as well. And Quagsire is a good budget-friendly Great League Pokemon if you don't already have one. So the Quagsire stat line is actually a 0 15, 13. The Claude Sire is actually going to be a 0 13, 15. And the... Polyrath, I think, is going to be a 0, 15, 14. Don't quote me on that one. I'm not 100% sure. And the Charge Bug is actually going to be a 0, 14, 15 that I know off the top of my head. Um, yeah, this Charge Bug, Charge Bug, you're definitely going to want to pick up as well because Charge Bug is really, really good. He's only been going up in rank ever since he got that community day and ever since, you know, Flyers became more of a thing. The only thing you really have to watch out for is those pesky ground Pokemon, but generally you're going to be running ground Pokemon with this thing because it provides good coverage, and just in general, Charge of Bug is a very solid Pokemon because it threatens almost all of the top meta stuff and can take out Metacham, which was crazy. <laughs> I know Metacham isn't super prominent anymore, but it is a helpful tool to take out things like Lantern, and can take out Azumarill, and it can take out Skomori. And that is three reasons alone why you want to be running this little bug right here. And I guess I'll throw this in here as well. I wasn't originally going to do this, but you can throw in, you know, looking if you're looking for IVs for something like Ultra League, you can use the scanner to also scan stuff that is particularly good in the Ultra League. And you can even pick up stuff like this Master League Swine Up that I just got off of my good pal Josh. And you can kind of, you know, use the scanner to keep track of all of that as well. Poke Genie also has a lot of unique options for you to go out and explore. You, they're pretty sure there's like some sort of a raid system that you can do on it as well. And it's generally just a good little widget to have. So definitely you are going to go out and start hunting these pvp pokemon and without further ado thank you everybody so much for watching i hope you guys have the greatest of community days as i will be hunting polya whooper and polywag for the most of it because i missed both of those community days <laughs> Also, in regards to the last video, I want to say thank you so much for watching, and also, the meta has shifted from the last time I have made that team. What I would do is I would still prioritize hunting all of the Pokemon, as I have said before, being particularly Claude Sire and Charge Bug, and you kind of want to hunt Greninja as well, because Greninja is pretty good, but for the safety benefit of your team, you're going to want to prioritize Poliwrath over Greninja a little bit more, because Poliwrath is performing a bit better, and with the meta shift, the potential targets for Greninja to hit have kind of died down a little bit.
So definitely try to aim for that Polyrath. You could still run the Greninja Claude Sire team for Claude Ninja. That's totally fine. But I'm saying you're going to want to keep your options open. So make sure to hunt those other PvP Pokemon that are out there. Especially Polyrath. So, with all that out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching my last video. It means a lot to me. Feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you all in the next video.